Sheila Jackson Lee representative in Texas, but also you've got a good shot of the Capitol when you're facing the scene. The markers at the art installation beside us represent the number of people in America who were killed in a week. A week is how long it took the government of New Zealand after a mass shooting to ban assault weapons. We have to talk about suicide. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to lean on one another. We've got to ask the questions of our friends and family who have survived gun violence. Are you okay? Do you need help? Are you thinking of killing yourself? It does not hurt to ask. When gun violence affects people, uh, it doesn't end when the mass shooting ends. It, it stays with people. Trauma grows. It, it is a public health crisis. And so we need Congress to stop being complacent in order to um, have sufficient mental health services for students all over the country and not just um, in response to tragedy and try to put a Band-Aid on a stab wound. I'm the author of H.R. 8, which we passed in the House. That we I challenge members of Congress today to stand for what is right and to fight for gun safety laws that protect us all. I challenge Congress to pay attention to what is happening in their backyard. Without a vote in Congress, D.C. is depending on you. I'd like to introduce uh, Senator Chris Murphy from Connecticut. This is an epidemic and a nightmare everywhere in this country. And what the March for Our Lives has done is to open our eyes, not just to the tragedies that make the news, but to the real life trauma that exists in every corner of this country every single day.